one of the remarkable things beyond the learning and training that people have had is just the networking that's occurred. I've had numerous nonprofits and social enterprises come up to me and say how, how nice it was to be able to kind of roll up their sleeves and discuss with other people about how they can collaborate to improve the business and operations of each other's organization. And this kind of collaboration they mentioned normally doesn't happen in settings where they're all vying for funding dollars or trying to look good before potential donors. And what's unique about Baltimore is you're recreating a, a collaborative ecosystem that exists in Silicon Valley. But rather than working to for the next, you know, Google or Apple, you're actually looking at how can we take the business know-how and develop business models to solve urban problems that are not only unique to Baltimore, but to other, other areas around the country. So it's very exciting the, to have a community-based social enterprise um, innovation program. I think my experience was uh, I felt really good about being able to help people. It's more listening than it is giving advice um, and guiding through questions rather than guiding through commands. This is a first cut, push through it, we'll come back and do it again and we'll do it again and we'll do it again until we get it right. And it's never going to be 100% right. That's entrepreneurship.